Okay, hello, hi everyone. Um, thank you for joining my class today. After I think what two two months plus break. Oh, let me reduce my volume on my mobile device. Hello, hi. Um, so after two months of break, finally, um, um, I've started back my live classes. Uh, we are now uh, streaming live on um, Facebook, YouTube, and also TikTok for the first time. Okay, so I'm looking at three different screens here. So I'm looking at TikTok at the top there. I'm looking at YouTube and Facebook here. And I'm sharing uh, slides on one uh, screen. So please don't be surprised if I'm looking at, you know, up and looking down and so on. So this is the first time I'm doing on TikTok. So everyone on TikTok, can you hear me clearly on TikTok? <clears throat> if you can hear me clearly on TikTok, please let me know uh, in the chat box that you can hear me clearly. And on uh, Facebook and YouTube, um, over down here, can you guys hear me clearly? Is my sound loud and clear? Okay, excellent. So on TikTok, we only have seven viewers so far because I never announced anything on, on TikTok. So it's just out of sudden I wanted to stream on TikTok as well. So we are go I'm going to share a um, very, very important class today, very, very important knowledge. I'm going to share on how to write uh, problem statement series number two we already finished uh, three classes on similar topic about chapter one uh, somewhere in august so september i didn't have any class october i'm starting back again so therefore uh, if some of you on tiktok did not follow my classes um, um, previous classes which i conducted in august don't worry i will i will i will share with you um I will share with you the videos or where you can actually go and watch it. Okay. So um, let's get started. So before we start, as usual, my request on all social media and everyone does the same also, please help me hit the share button. Okay. Hit the share button on Facebook, YouTube or TikTok up there. Uh, please hit the share button. Share it across WhatsApp, your own profile. Um, you can repost on TikTok if you want to um, share it with your fellow friends, whoever wants to learn problem statement writing. Okay, they are really struggling with problem statement uh, and they want to learn how to write problem statement. Okay, so please hit the share button. Don't forget to hit like button. You can also tag your friends in the comment. Type the add button and tag your friends in the comment column so that they can come and join. Okay, that they can benefit from the class today. Okay, especially on TikTok. This is new for me on TikTok. So uh, I've never seen people teaching uh, thesis writing on TikTok before. So this is probably uh, the first time we're going to do that. So <laughs> I've never seen before. This is probably a crazy idea. But anyhow, it's all crazy, right? So on TikTok, please help me um, uh, hit the share button. Share it. I know TikTok sharing is a bit different. You have to share on WhatsApp, Telegram and so on. In the comment, please tag your friends, okay? Uh, if my sound is clear, so then we can get started. So today, we are already in episode 136, okay? Uh, why my mouse cannot be seen on TikTok? I think it should be able to be seen. Let me show. Let me see, yeah? Ah, okay. Can be seen. All right. So everyone can see my screen. So this is part of my thesis journal accelerator seminar. Okay, I've been doing this since uh, 2020. Just a bit of introduction for our new audience from uh, TikTok. Okay, uh, we are already in episode 136. That means in total, we have over 130 classes uh, all located uh, in Facebook playlist. So for those who don't use Facebook, who's watching me on TikTok, uh, unfortunately, you can only find the recorded videos in my uh, Facebook page. Okay, on my Facebook page, actually. So today, we're going to look at chapter one. Okay, chapter one, be it master's thesis, bachelor thesis, or even PhD thesis, you can never run away from problem statement. Okay, can never. And the main major problems all the time we face is problem statement. Okay, uh, so therefore, I want to teach you how to write problem statement carefully today. Okay, carefully today, based on um, uh, my seven steps template. Okay, I've shared over my template some time ago, but and then I left it. But today I'm going to go full scale to teach how to write problem statement based on my template. Okay, so we have 17 different. Where's my mouse? Okay, we have 17 different parts to cover. This is series number two already under problem statement class itself. 
Okay, so before we go any further, what are the classes we have that you know, folks in uh, folks in uh, uh, Facebook or YouTube or even uh, on TikTok can look forward to? Okay, so uh, let me see if the writing is clear. So if you're watching from uh, TikTok, please steal your phone, eh? Okay, because this is PowerPoint slide, so I have to uh, make it white screen. So if you're watching from TikTok or even Facebook, make sure you steal your screen. Don't look at it like that. Okay, make sure you look at it like that. Okay, so please steal your screen. I'm pretty sure on TikTok you can do that also. So uh, to and I can see the fonts are quite clear here. I'm looking at my own TikTok and it's quite clear. So today we are looking at this is chapter one problem statement writing. Okay, and then uh, 31st October, that means next week, uh, we are going to look at critical literature review with Dr. Tawa's template. Also my own template. Okay, also my own template. Uh, we're going to explore. Um, how to do critical literature review, basically. Okay, uh, but before that, I would like to thank Nadim Rao, uh, Abila Shini, and uh, Onsia for tagging your friends. Okay, for tagging your friends on TikTok. Also, you can tag your friends on Facebook. Also, you can tag your friends. Just type the add button and tag your friends. Invite them to come and join. Okay. All right. Then seven November, we're gonna look at literature review matrix with Google Scholar. Okay, and literature review matrix with litmap.ai. Uh, that means I'm going to, for the first time, I'm going to teach you guys on 8th November how to use an AI app to do literature matrix. Okay, that will be a very, very interesting class to all of you. Uh, so make sure that you guys uh, save the date, come and join. TikTok, I don't think there is place. For, so in Facebook, I can announce uh, according to event. Okay, I can create events and so on. But on TikTok, I don't think I can create event. I'm not sure. You guys can advise if I can. I'm not so sure. Oh, I'll try. Uh, but you just, guys have to just remember the dates. Okay, and the links I've given here are all linked to a Facebook page. Okay, basically all linked to Facebook page. Now, for those who wants to uh, register for the upcoming classes, let me uh, share the link. Just one moment. Huh? Let me share the link for the upcoming classes. Here are the links. And I don't know if you can open links in um, TikTok, but I will still share. I don't think you can open the links, but you can save the links. Okay, you can save the links. Uh, okay, so that those are the upcoming classes. All right. Um, so if you guys, especially on TikTok, okay, if you guys missed out, uh, introduction and background classes. If you guys missed out, uh, don't worry. Chapter one, uh, chapter one got it. Okay, chapter one basically for those who don't know chapter one yet or who is still exploring, you know how to write chapter one. Um, chapter one starts with introduction. Okay, always introduction. Then you will have background. Okay, you have background. Uh, after background, you will have problem statement. That is what we are exploring today. So previously, I already teach uh, many on how to uh, write introduction and background. So for those who did not attend the previous classes, okay, in case if you want to still learn, uh, you can go to my Facebook page right here. Okay, TikTok, we have many different things. Okay, TikTok also, I'll show you guys what, what, what I have. Uh, but on Facebook, it's mostly classes, okay, and a lot of posts on Facebook. Uh, let me see, how does it look on phone? Okay, it looks okay. All right, so basically, um, you can find all the videos here. All the recorded classes, you can find it here. Okay? The complete playlist can be found here. So if I click see all, uh, you guys can basically catch up with the classes here. Um, so chapter 1, 1 1.3, this is the problem statement class. Then we have background, we have introduction. Uh, then we have literature review classes, how to publish in high impact journal, uh, how to structure a complete thesis. All these are recorded free classes. Huh? So if you guys want to watch and learn, this would be the best place to go and learn. People pay to learn these things okay, via paid workshops. But here we have enormous amount of classes that are free okay, that you guys can go and learn. So you can go through all this, even reading how to read a paper for literature review how to design your questionnaire, instrument, you know, interview script and so on. You can find all these classes here. Okay, whenever you visit my Facebook page, don't forget to hit like and follow. Okay, that is uh, a bit of compulsory thing for you to do. Eh? 
<laughs> okay. All right. So that's that. Okay. So who missed the class? Potentially also missed free introduction and background templates. Okay. Uh, to be fair, I have not shared background template yet. But introduction template, I've already shared in my Telegram group. I've already. Okay. Already shared that. Okay, uh, if you missed out my introduction template in Telegram, don't forget to go and download. All right, don't forget. Eh? All right, so where to find these templates? These are the downloadable templates. Okay, what are these, these templates basically? So it's basically literature search databases, critical literature review template, literature summary template, how to summarize after you read a paper, uh, problem statement. This is what we're going to explore today in today's live class. Uh, background writing template, literature matrix, systematic literature review, and we got more. We got new ones also. Uh, these are all quite old ones. Proposal defense, viva questions, you know, pilot study, full thesis table of content. And these two were recently released. Okay. If you guys have not joined my Telegram group yet, please let me know on TikTok. If you need the link, let me know on TikTok. If you need the link on uh, Facebook, let me know in the comment column that you need the link. I will share the link to join my Telegram group for you to go and download all this for free. Okay, all these are uh, for free. So if you need it, kindly comment. Okay, kindly comment. Be engaging also on TikTok. You can comment also that you need the, the, the link and I will share with you guys. Okay, that way I'll know that you guys are not on Telegram yet. Okay, so we have few requests already. So for those who want to join, this will be the link. Okay, there you go. Uh, on TikTok, uh, let me see. Am I missing on TikTok? Okay, I think TikTok, that's how it works. Okay, but I don't think you, I don't think links are clickable on TikTok. But anyhow, you can copy and paste the link. Okay, oh, we got more joiners now. We got 23 already on TikTok, which is good. Okay, uh, all right. So shall we continue? Link please, I already shared, eh? So you can check it out again. You can find the Telegram link within that, that main link, okay? So go and download all of this and make your life easier, okay? Let me also explain something very important, okay? For all the new joiners, we are working on problem statement class today, how to write problem statement. Um, so I've shared the link, Kagura player. It's up there. Please copy it. Um, you can take it from there. So I can see Nin AB shared the live. Thank you very much, Nin. Uh, on TikTok, thank you for sharing. Now I can, oh, actually, TikTok shows who shares the live. Very good. So for those who haven't shared yet, please share. Melissa also, thank you very much. Uh, Noor Azira, thank you very much uh, for sharing the, the, the live session. Okay, so uh, Aiksal also, thank you very much for sharing. Um, so in case next time, if you guys um, uh, might miss out my class on Facebook, go and join in on TikTok as well. Okay. I'm sharing the link again. Uh, for those who are watching me from my Facebook group, uh, I will come and share the link later. Okay, you won't be able to see the link now. I'll come and share later. Don't worry. Okay, um, yes, Rock. Rock on, on, on uh, TikTok mentioned free Palestine, definitely. Okay, my heart goes out to all the victims in Gaza. Um, honestly, goes out to them. And um, um, a very, very saddening thing to see. Uh, I think no humans in, in, in their entire lifetime should go through what, what uh, Palestinians go through. Okay, Palestinians go through. I have a lot of clients from Palestine, both um, 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 West Bank and Gaza. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had a client who was going through the entire bombing uh, in Gaza. He was WhatsApping me until a few days ago. I, I lost connection with him. Uh, his name is Haftavi, um, very, very good friend of mine. So um, I really hope that. Um, Everything will be um, okay soon in Gaza, but it had been a very long fight and and uh, um, please pray for them in Gaza, okay? So, um, yes, thank you very much. No problem, Rock, no problem, no problem. I, I, I always, um, I always um, uh, feel bad um, for Palestinians, okay? Um, all right, so let's, let's get back to the topic. If I start talking about Palestine, I'll talk forever. I know the entire history of Palestine. Okay, I, I follow, I read, I read, I read a lot of history about Palestine. I know what, what, what they go through. I mean, historically speaking, I've never been there to see that. Okay, anyway, let's let's come back to the... For those who, who are watching me who don't know, uh, Dr. Line Not Clear, Didi Alza. Okay, Didi Alza on Facebook. Uh, hi, hi, Dira, sorry, Dira, bukan Didi pula. 
Dira, Dira Alza, the, the line is not clear. Okay, is, is it clear for everyone else? Please let me know. So that uh, Senandika, I can't find your Telegram group. Okay, no problem. Here is the link. You probably cannot click it. You have to copy and paste it. Okay, all right. It's clear on TikTok. Everyone else clear on Facebook and YouTube? Please let me know. Okay, so probably Dira, I think uh, it's your line. Sorry, I think you need to uh, probably join back again. Let's see how it goes. Okay, um, now today we have two different templates actually for problem statement. Okay, these templates are free. Why, why, do, uh, why do I create these templates? What is the whole purpose of me creating these templates? Because I don't want you guys to go and use AI tool that you don't know whether it actually works or not. Okay, that's 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 the whole purpose. Okay, I've done enormous amount of videos. Okay, on TikTok, before we get to the bottom of problem statement, now, this is my TikTok channel. Okay, within four months, four and a half months, we, I've already hit thirty three thousand followers, thanks to the kind of videos uh, that I share. Uh, don't worry, uh, um, Ixal, I will share the Telegram link in a while. Okay, let me let me uh, conduct the class. I will share with you. Don't worry. Okay, no problem at all. Okay. So here I have a dedicated playlist, okay, for uh, ChatGPT, Quillbot, and AI apps. So please go through this, and you will understand why I say careful when you use AI apps. I won't say um, I won't say um, uh, don't use. I will say be careful because you're not sure whether it works or not in the first place. So for those who are on Facebook have not not yet following me on TikTok, please go and follow. Make sure you follow. Okay, uh, so let me move that back. So we have two different problem statement templates. Okay, coming back to this. Uh, one is on environmental management. One more is on education. Okay, many don't know in my Telegram group, there are actually two different problem statement templates. They don't know. Okay, they don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email all of you these two different problem statement templates. What are these? This is seven steps problem statement template for proposal, thesis, and publication, which you can use to construct. Okay, you can use to construct a very nice problem statement. And this, this template had been endorsed and recognized by many supervisors, masters, PhD, no problem, had been endorsed already. And how do we know this? Because I coach and consult a lot of students. Okay, a lot of students. Uh, and uh, this is a type of style that I normally follow and my consultants also follow. Okay, so um, so we have two different, these are actually, another important thing, these are from actual thesis. One is from environmental management, one of my clients who graduated back in 2020. Okay, we coached through the entire journey of his PhD. So this is one example. And then one more is education. This is Dr. Siva's thesis, also a client that we coach, consulted, and proofread. Okay, that in proof, right? So, uh, this is his topic. Factors influencing the intention to use e-learning among students of Malaysian universities with e-learning facilities, group comparison analysis of gender. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, new joiners on TikTok. If you're watching me on TikTok, make sure you till the screen. Eh? Make sure you till the screen. Don't watch it like that. Watch it like that. Okay, don't forget that. Eh? We have more joiners on TikTok already, which is a good thing. Okay, uh, on Facebook also you can tilt if you want to. So, how do you get these two templates? How do you get that? Okay, I'm going to email to you, but the conditions are very simple. Okay, uh, actually, if not free grid and sample, actually free problem statement templates. Shared exclusively. Let me just edit that very quickly. I forgot to edit that particular part. Free problem statement templates. Okay, all right. Okay, free problem statement templates. These two templates I'll email to you guys. I will only email to people who shared the session today. Okay, so go and hit the share button. If you're watching from YouTube, if you're watching from uh, Facebook, if you're watching from TikTok, make sure you share the session. Okay, and make sure that you tag okay, your friends, your colleagues, your fellow students, your supervisors, whoever wants to join, make sure you tag their name. Okay, and share. Don't forget. Only to those who tag and share, I will email these two templates because I'll use a tool to extract all the people who shared and tagged their friends. Okay, so uh, please do. 
hit the share button, tag and so on. Uh, and then from the um, algorithms that um, uh, the, the parameters will show by Facebook and TikTok, I will extract the info and then I will uh, email to all of you. Okay? All right? And later on, you can also go and register yourself just in case if I miss out your, your, your email address. Okay? Just in case. Uh, okay, so how do you do that? How do you do follow, uh, share, tag, and so on? Okay, from TikTok to WhatsApp. Okay, Akshya, thank you very much. Please do. Um, so, very simple. Number one, hit follow. Make sure you hit follow. If you're from Facebook, uh, make sure you hit the follow. If you're from TikTok, you can also hit follow, but I don't know how. Let me see. Uh, I don't know how do you hit follow here. Oh, you can hit my profile, uh, I think, on the top left, and then you can click follow. Okay, and then uh, you can in the comment column here number two, tag your friends. Okay, like like this, like Idex just did on Facebook, and also Emilia and also uh, Ashik and also Rashid. Thanks for tagging everyone, uh, Nisha, Azrin. You know, thanks. Make sure that you guys tag tag everyone so I will know who actually helped out for us to reach out to more people. Okay, so make sure you comment and and also the final thing. Ah, like and follow lah. That goes without saying, again. So make sure you like and follow, and finally hit the share button. Okay, hit the share button. This is ah, the basic requirement of 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 social media already. It's not me. If I want, I don't even want to ask. Okay, we just teach and go only. But that's how it works. Okay, that's how it works. Unfortunately. Okay, so make sure you guys do that. Tag your friends. Hit the share button and make sure you like and follow. Okay, and then to those who exclusively worked hard to do that. I will email to all of you. Later, stay until the end. I will tell you how to provide your email address just in case I missed out. Okay? All right. So, this one, I've already shared the link. For those who want to, just how many are asking how to join the Telegram group, this is how you join the Telegram group. So, let me share the link very quickly again. Okay? That is the link. That is the link. Okay? You guys can join. Um, okay. So, before we start, Okay, before we start the actual uh, class, okay, actual um, uh, template, I want to know, okay, from all of you, okay, from all of you on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, do you all get comments on problem statement all the time from your supervisor? Okay, do your supervisor or examiners or your second supervisor, whoever, do they always, always comment that your problem statement is not good enough. Do you guys do you guys get that all the time? Please let me know in the comment column in the chat. So we have 42 viewers, 40 already on TikTok. That's not bad. Okay. Copriel Mipan just started problem statement for your FIP. Okay, I wish you all the best. There you go. Okay, on Facebook, we get a full blast. Yes, pronoun statement too broad. Yes, yes, I got it. Yes, 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 yes. This is the most common thing that we will get all the time. Okay, all the time. All right, so thanks, Akshya. Um, that's why I particularly wanted to share problem statement. Okay, I just want to see how far it is like, you know, a very, very severe problem for all of you or to all of you. Okay, so... What you must do first, remember, problem statement is not a stand-alone component. It is not. Okay? Remember, a lot of people always think that problem statement, I always get comment. Always, my supervisor say, not enough, very broad, not critical, blah, 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 blah. The same thing lah, over and over and over and over again. Okay? Why I know this? Because every other time when I look at comment supervisor during our coaching or any students that come and approach us every day in the hundreds of, of, of people on daily basis, I think 70% of the time I'll hear problem statement problem. Problem with problem statement. That is a very normal thing I hear. So, I know that very clearly. So, in order to solve that, you must always remember, remember that problem statement is not a stand-alone component. It is not. If problem statement having a problem, okay, having a problem, that means you should also revisit back your introduction and your background. You need to. Okay, you need to. Why do I say that? Because they are all connected. They are all linked together. Introduction in chapter 1, background and problem statement. So if the introduction and background usually not convincing enough, your problem statement also would not uh, shape very well. Okay, it won't take a very nice shape. Okay, so 
for that matter, you need to actually refocus back on all of those segments. That's why in August, two months ago, I was teaching how to write introduction and um, um, background. So for those who join us from TikTok, you would never watch the uh, introduction background class. You can let me know. I will sh later tell you where to go and find it later uh, towards the end of the class. Okay? So... It must flow well from introduction background to problem statement. It must. Otherwise, your problem statement will be forever having problem. Forever. Okay? So, problem statement template. Step number one. Okay? Uh, seven steps problem statement template for proposal thesis publication. We're going to look at this particular topic. Factors influencing the intention to use e-learning among students of Malaysian universities with e-learning facilities, group comparison analysis of gender. So this is the title. This one PhD finished already, eh? completed Dr. Siva. Okay, Dr. Siva. Uh, Akshya asked a very good question. A good problem statement, how many pages, doctor? I would say in a proposal, one to one and a half pages is already, uh, already more than enough. Okay, some people write two, three, four pages. It's too long. One to one and a half pages, sometimes two pages, more than enough. Okay, that is for proposal. Huh? Step two proposal. Huh? Okay, so we're going to look at this. Let's look at step number one. Okay, so this is example from thesis. Okay, this is the template. You can down... Uh, I will email to whoever... Okay, whoever like, share and tag their friends. Two different templates. Okay, for those who never tag, share and don't want to... You know, don't want to be social on social media then you have to go and download it yourself from Telegram group, unfortunately, okay? Uh, there are two different... It's already. It's also in my Telegram group. You can find it. There are two examples, okay? There are two examples. So, step number one, when you start writing your problem statement, reintroduce why you are doing the research, okay? Again, eh? Re from background. That means from background, when you flow and come down to problem statement, you must reintroduce why you are doing the research. Don't forget, eh? Okay. So this is how we start. There have been a handful of articles that have researched the role of various factors on e-learning adoption. Okay, so they start talking about e-learning adoption first. Because if you look back at the topic, e-learning is the subject under investigation. SUI, we call it. Subject under... Remember this, huh? What is SUI? SUI is subject under investigation. Okay? So... There have been a handful of articles that have researched the role of various factors on e-learning adoption. Researchers all over the world have speculated about the altitude of e-learning. Sorry, attitude of e-learning. From their studies, it was found that e-learning offers numerous benefits to the learners, educators, institutes and other stakeholders such as providing wide area coverage and enabling virtual learning at home. Okay, this is something important. You can realize that there are some amount of background here okay some amount then you'll be wondering but doctor we also uh, we also uh, wrote background what so do we have to write again here it's just a connecting factor you're connecting back to the to the fact okay so you don't deviate from the actual uh, phenomena okay so you're just connecting back all right uh, okay next thing um, um this one done already. Many higher education institutes are implementing e-learning parallel to a traditional classroom teaching method. Okay, so now they're bringing the application of e-learning. Where does it come into picture? Okay, this is because many students are unable to attend universities as a result of limitations such as far distance, transportation issues, and time constraints. E-learning helps them to obtain the same quality of education without physically being present. Okay, so that is reintroducing why you are doing research on e-learning in the first place. So if you are doing on small medium enterprise, you are doing on public health, you are doing on dentistry, you are doing on computer science, info, uh, IoT, you know, um, Internet of Things and so on, this is the purpose, the application, why you are doing it in the first place. That should be the first paragraph of your problem statement. That should be. Okay, don't forget that. Huh? That should be. Okay. Then we go to step number two. Okay, can you all follow so far on Facebook, on YouTube, and on TikTok? Can you all follow so far? TikTok views are dropping. Please keep sharing. Please keep inviting your friends. 
Uh, in uh, TikTok, you can actually tag your friend. Just press add and you can invite your friends to come and join as well. Okay. Uh, so can you all follow so far uh, the first section? Yes, definitely a citation. I've removed it. I've removed the citations because, you know, for space constraint. From the thesis, there are actually many citations. Okay. So let me ask you all. Okay. Let me ask you all before we continue step two. What should be the range of um, 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 what should be the range of years? Okay, when you reference, when you use citations, what should be? How old should be the references in your problem statement? Answer this question first. Okay, one said five years. How about the rest? Yes, Ria, I remove the references. Space constraint. If I have all the references, this template will be too long. Okay, uh, 10 years. Okay, Fiali here said 10 years. Afaf said 5 years. David said 3 years. Lavinia, 5 years. Uh, Masrul, five, 3 years, 5 years. Here we have uh, 5 years, 5 to 10. Within 5 years, depends on the topic being addressed. Actually, to be honest, uh, it can range up to 10 years. Can, because sometimes you'll have all the background citations, historical citations. Okay, but when it comes to the critical point of view, the critical part, okay, it has to be as new as possible. As new as possible. When you talk about the, the, the like, you know, this particular section, we spoke about, you know, how, um, uh, you know, from physical learning, e-learning. So, that one all must have old citations. You cannot be expecting to get new citations. But when it comes to the critical problem part, that is where you must have not even five years, as new as you can find, especially on the problem part, as new as you can find. Okay? So, Step number two, why is it important to investigate the topic? Now you need to sell the issue. Marketing part lah. Marketing of your idea. Okay? The studies on e-learning in the Malaysian academic setting are more concerned with the aspects of students' acceptance of e-learning. However, some researchers try to investigate the implementation of e-learning in Malaysian public and private sector institutions, but... The effectiveness of e-learning as a core teaching method is still questionable due to low acceptance rate of students. So this is one of the first issue that is cropping up. Okay? Why cannot implement? All right? Next thing. Hence, e-learning is less efficient in delivering education to students because, you know, there is no proper platform, right? Even from the qualitative studies perspective, factors affecting acceptance of e-learning in the Malaysian higher education institutions had been researched. But little research has been done to examine the precise circumstances surrounding e-learning in those institutions which are already equipped with e-learning facilities. So this is the first point of contact on the research gap. Okay, they are already talking about things are not being well studied. Okay, that is like your first touch lah, your first touch, you know, that we are having this kind of problem. Okay, then, um, most recently, there is a study performed by Mohi, Minister of Higher Education, on e-learning implementation that focused on the level, pace and challenges faced by higher education institutions. However, it didn't look at the impact on intention of the students with respect to e-learning. So, you can see, this is, of course, they must have citation. I removed the citation, FYI, I removed the citation. But this is another touch to the research gap. So why, why, why am I doing this? Why is the student, or why did we coach the student to write it this way? Because we are selling the issue. Remember this, huh? we are selling the issue. You are marketing the gap now. Okay, you are convincing people there is a problem that is being overlooked. That's what you need to basically explain in your problem statement. Okay? Step number three, what is wrong? Okay, so we already told that certain parts were under-investigated. No, my, okay. Certain parts were under-investigated. Okay, so step number three, what is wrong with the current process situation that you even need e-learning? need this to prove your case, right? So you need to deep dive into that establishment of research gap. Further, it was seen that there is reduced usage of e-learning due to various challenges and issues. Researchers have related these issues and challenges with students lacking awareness and still preferring the traditional method of learning. Students are influenced by the opinion of people, such as parents, neighbors, colleagues, friends, and others who have a strong attachment with them, which impacts their attitude 
which impacts the attitude and intention. Okay. The e-learning system is unable to provide useful insights to students that in turn lowers the e-learning acceptance of students. Okay. This is the major issue. Now you might ask, why this citation is never removed? Because it's start of the sentence. So I cannot remove the citation. Okay. So Cheng 2019 has stated that e-learning system provided by open universities is usually not useful for students to manage and control their uh, learning process. Okay. Yesterday on Facebook, coming back to this, uh, yesterday on Facebook, um, I shared literature review got three types of uh, articles. No, no. Three types of sources. Okay. One is um, acknowledgement. One more is support. And third one is critical. Okay? So when you write your literature review or even literature review, this is all literature review. Huh? Within problem statement, this is a type of literature review that you're doing now without realizing that you're actually doing literature review. So um, when you uh, uh, write literature review, not all the time you have to criticize. Not all the time you have to bang people or this one never do enough, this one never do enough, that one never do enough. You don't need to do that. There are three types of circumstances you will face when it comes to literature review. One, they acknowledge your idea or they acknowledge something similar is happening. Second, you can use them to support your idea, literature review. Eh? Third is where you be critical. That means you bang the, the paper is not good enough, you... In, 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 in other words, you kuto, the paper is not good enough. You're telling the paper is, is you know, having a lot of lack of uh, solution, lack of problem, you know, blah, 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 all these kind of things. So, what happens? You acknowledge, you support, and you, crit you criticize. So, Chang here, Chang 2019 has stated that e-learning system provided by open universities is usually not useful for students to manage and control their learning process. So, this is support or can be even acknowledging okay whatever you're trying to convey remember that huh? there are three types of literature okay so next part thus intention to use e-learning decreases due to lack of perceived usefulness in advocacies in the e-learning system and the students inability to manage the e-learning contents at their convenient time and, and pace okay all right clear so far we are already in step number three. Any questions that you guys want to ask before we go on to the next part? Any questions? Don't forget, huh? if you want the two templates of problem statement, you need to hit like, make sure you share, and make sure you tag your friends in the chat box. Okay, then you will get two different templates emailed to you. But in order to be emailed to you, you have to stay until the end so that you can sign up just in case if I miss out your email from your like, shares, and so on. Okay, so everything is clear. I see no comments, so I believe everything is clear. So remember, reintroduce why you're doing the research. Okay, Safia. Uh, hi, Safia. Reintroduce why you're doing the research, why it is important to investigate the topic, sell the issue. What's wrong with the current process situation? Need this to prove your case. Exactly. Thanks for the summary. Senandika on TikTok, eh? Doctor, to be good literature review, need to get acknowledge support in one section. Not necessarily in one section, but it must be a mix-up of those. Okay, because literature review can be a long process. So along the way, some papers you read, eh? you cannot find research gap. We will like, I'm reading and reading and reading, but I cannot find research gap. Why? Eh? Because some not, not necessarily must be research gap not necessarily must have a problem. It can be a support factor or an acknowledging factor. Okay, remember that huh? very carefully. All right, so now coming back to this. Remember this when it comes to problem statement. Whatever information you include in introduction, background, problem statement, the flow is important. The flow is very, very important. The flow of your story. Narration, that means storytelling. Okay, your storytelling ability is very, very important. Like how you sembang with someone, when you talk to someone, you're telling story, the story must flow. Okay, suddenly you tell one story, suddenly you talk about something else, suddenly you talk about a third thing, that guy cannot even connect what you're trying to say. Same goes to writing. Writing is even worse because they're reading. They're not even talking to you. It's very boring to read your writing. My writing also, everyone's writing is very boring to read. So if you're going to make it, very unclear, very disconnected, 
you're going to have a lot more problem in your life going through your PhD and master's journey. Okay? So the narration is important. Storytelling with perfect English. Okay? One of those theses I want to share. My recent alumni. Okay? Dr. Sharifa. Dr. Tubi Sharifa. Okay? This is Dr. Sharifa's Viva outcome. Okay? She had been my um, uh, student... Um, Consultee lah, I would say consultee. Yeah, since 2019, okay, 2019 she joined our proofreading, our our coaching, our consulting program, and so on. All right. So, um, she recently, please join me to congratulate Dr. Sharifa. She recently um, graduated. She finished already uh, in University of Malaya, UM. One of the main indicator of her finishing her entire journey. I've known her. We have worked on her four papers, one systematic review and three empirical papers. Then we worked on a thesis. Okay. Um, so if you if you wonder, okay, if you wonder how the result will be after you finish your viva, how they will normally give you the, the announcement, this is how it will become. This is how it will look like. So viva was examination for PhD candidate Sharifa. I now put the full name. Huh? We would like to inform you that the committee examiner's meeting for Sharifa was held on 18 August. 9 a.m. via Google Meet, and she was awarded the PhD degree without any amendment or corrections. Okay, she is the fourth student I have. Okay, fourth student out of 30 plus thousand students that we have already completed. Um, she is one of the few who can get PhD without correction. Even I never I got minor correction during my PhD. She managed to get without correction from the number one university in Malaysia. Okay, so this is uh, proudly, uh, you know, we, we we went through the process with her. We coached from beginning until the end, proofread, paraphrase. We consulted her papers. We strategized her papers. We strategized for her thesis. This is her, her topic, the development of a cognitive intervention module for post-chemotherapy breast cancer survivors. Okay? One of the main reasons, okay, even if you have a perfect thesis, eh, one of the main reasons that you can get a thesis without correction, okay, Two, actually two, la, two main reasons, okay? Not apart from having a very good thesis. Eh? Um, first thing you need to understand, your publication. How strong are your publications? Okay, that's very, very crucial. So if you go closely, this is a confidential document, eh, actually. So from the examiner, examiner said, the candidate has already published substantial components of the thesis, part of the reason, okay, that, you know, she got very well acknowledged in terms of her work is this. Okay, so make sure you plan your publications very well for those who are doing PhD, especially. Masters, you can publish, don't stop from publishing. It'll be very beneficial for you in the long run. The perspective of your examiners, their point towards your thesis will be different when you have a lot of good publications. Okay, and from that, that is the coaching and consulting part. Then comes the proofreading part. I've been uh, advocating a lot on proofreading. Okay, for those who are using Grammarly, continue using Grammarly. Grammarly is a good tool. Okay, don't use Quillbot. Quillbot is a horrible tool. I can tell you that for sure, 100%, because I've seen students failing their thesis, going out of context. They don't even realize that the content going out of context by using all this lousy AI tool. But Grammarly is okay so far. Grammarly is not bad. Okay, but just that, it won't be enough because it only improves... Um, grammar. It doesn't improve the entire narration and justification of your story. Okay, of your background, problem statement, chapter 2, literature review, method, and so on. Okay, one of those examples is this. This is what, this is how deep we went into Dr. Sharifa's thesis. Okay, so you can see how much of work we have done. This is just the proofreading part only. Yeah? This is proofreading and paraphrasing. Okay, that is what we normally do on the language segment. Before coaching, consult, um, after coaching, consulting, then only comes the proofreading part. And how was the examiner feedback? Directly from the examiner. The thesis is largely well written with no stylistic concerns. When they have this, you usually will get very minor correction or if you're lucky enough, no corrections at all. Lah. So that's what I would recommend you to look forward to. I'm not telling you must get zero correction. Lah. That is not so practical. But get minor correction. Lah. Who wants to do so many corrections? Again? Unless you want to spend your life doing corrections only. So what do we do? How can we help in terms of the language space? Coaching, consulting is one thing. Uh, but uh, language space is another uh, point altogether. So here, 
uh, ultimate thesis package. Actually, uh, Manis Extra Madu, uh, Dr. Sharifa, we are the one who actually coached and consulted Dr. Sharifa. So Dr. Sharifa doesn't help. She finished her PhD and she already moved on in her life to go, go back to teaching. If you need help, you can get in touch with us. Okay? So um, what we offer for all the students already completed thesis, this before consult, after coaching and consulting, eh? ultimate thesis package up to 30% off. Proofreading, translation and formatting services up to 30% off. Eh? And we also offer lifetime language warranty. Okay, that comes together with your proofreading packages or paraphrasing packages. Okay, please take note of that. Eh? All right, now coming to step number four. Now we already finished three steps. Four more steps to go. Okay, to complete the seven steps. Stay with me until the end. Don't go anywhere yet. So, um, problem statement step number four. Now we are in paragraph two. Uh, earlier, what I shared was the first paragraph. I even break down the program for you. Eh? You, this template goes to that level. It breaks down even the paragraphs for you. So here, paragraph number two, uh, step number four, first regard to potential solution. Meanwhile, Siddiq et al. have reported the main reason people are unable to understand the e-learning uh, increases, no, that e-learning increases their productivity and makes it easier to grasp the course content. They still feel that e-learning is difficult and more technical to understand in contrast to the traditional teaching method. Okay, so this is where they're further tuning their idea towards a potential solution. All right. Moreover, they did not consider the time-saving aspect of using e-learning whereby they can accomplish tasks more quickly. Ali et al. have stated another reason e-learning is not frequently used by students, which is a lot of mental effort is needed to comprehend the e-learning content. Now, what we are doing is e-learning, okay? And it's very helpful. So, now he's further supporting his idea critically. Um, the gap he already mentioned much earlier. Up there, he already mentioned some of the gaps that people never study. And here, using more resources to support his entire topic, his thesis, basically. Okay, then step number five, minor literature review on existing solutions. Minor literature review, okay? So, from the gender point of view, intention to adopt e-learning is not being examined. There is possibility of the existence of difference of opinion between male and female students in adopting e-learning. From the technology, from the technology adoption perspective, the difference between male and female was studied by, by Haider et al. However, they examined the cross-group comparison in terms of mobile banking adoption. Their study showed significant difference among both groups. In line with Haider research, there is a need to examine the e-learning adoption among male and female. So that's how he's criticizing. Now it's critical review. Okay, not supporting. Huh? This is critical review already. So he's moving into the space that people never investigate. Okay, so review towards existing solution. All right. So this is step number five. Okay. Now going to step number six. We are already into paragraph number three. Okay, paragraph number three. So two paragraphs finish your pronoun statement. So someone asked me how long pronoun statement must be. Your first page completed. I already teach you how to write your first page. Now we are going to the second page ready. Okay, second page usually I would say about half a page. Lah. Okay, so you can write between 1 and 1.5 pages. Enough. But some supervisors, okay, some supervisors do ask you to write more. They do. Okay, some of them they want you to write up to 6 pages. I've seen pronoun statement up to 8 pages. I've seen my life up to eight pages. So, now we go to problem statement, paragraph three. Step number six. From literature review, critically review the exact limitation. Now you go into more hardcore reviewing. So, Shuhada, problem statement must have practical and theoretical contribution, right, doctor? Depends. Some they want. Some you don't need to mention. Okay, some you don't need to mention. Depends on the topic as well. Okay, some supervisors, like I said, some supervisors want all the details to be in pronoun statement. It will be so, so long. Okay, so long. Now, in this case, we are optimizing up to one to one and a half pages. All right? All right, Shuhada? Okay. So, now we are coming to step number six. The theoretical orientations have only focused on different independent variables. 
which may have a positive effect on the intention to adopt as dependent variable. Nevertheless, okay, despite the significant explanatory power of these studies, limitations still exist because these theories only consider the viewpoint of technology adoption practices and hence are ineffective in the long run. This is a very critical point. Very, very critical point. That's how you be critical. Okay, that's how you be critical. One of the most significant problems is the fact that such theoretical practices do not address a negative response or sense. Although intensity, probability, or frequency of usage are the variables affected by the concept of adoption, it does not necessarily indicate the nature of consumer choice and action. This nature, sorry, this goes to show that the low use intention does not mean that a consumer will not adopt e-learning, which makes it difficult to identify whether the negative response is a resentment or not. Uh, this is where he opens up a very big question. Now, they already say people don't know. Okay, people don't know whether um, people not, I mean, students not using e-learning, what is the reason? We don't know. Okay, we don't know. That's what he's trying to express out there. So you should bring your uh, readers to this level. Okay, to this level. Problem statement, Azizi. Problem statement need to relate to give hints to... Yes, yes, it needs to be related. It needs to give to that, that connectivity. Okay? Now, coming to the final segment. Don't go yet. Huh? I'm going to tell you what notes you're going to get. I'm going to also share where, when, are the, when are the upcoming classes again. Okay? So, please stay until the end. Okay, step number seven, paragraph four. Now, you're already in the final paragraph. Solutions and underlying techniques. Okay. Solutions and underlying techniques. Again, example of this is from the above discussion, it can be concluded that students are unable to pursue e learning regularly due to ambiguous interactions uh, with e learning. Consequently, using e learning has become more difficult. Okay. Therefore, there is a need to research on the factors that influences the continuity of uh, the e-learning adoption in the institutions where e-learning facilities are already available and to identify the cross-group comparison of the factors influencing the adoption of e-learning in the higher education institution. So this is where you go towards the end. Okay? So again, uh, from the above discussion, it can be concluded that students are unable to pursue e-learning regularly due to ambiguous interaction with e-learning. Consequently, using e-learning has become more difficult. Therefore, there is a need, see, there is a need to research on the factors that influences the continuity of e-learning adoption in the institutions where e-learning facilities are already available and to identify the cross-group comparison of the factors influencing the adoption. So, they are already talking about factors influencing adoption of e-learning in the higher education institution. That's it. So, uh, Nur Sabrina, how to break it from the three main points as we prefer to be written in such manner. Uh, three main points or three main paragraphs. What you do, sometimes supervisors might have different style to write. Okay, You can get a sample thesis or sample proposal from your supervisor, Sabrina, and see what he means. Okay, Because three main points, we don't know what is he thinking cognitively in his mind sometimes. So you need to get the information from him. See what he's talking about. Otherwise, we all will be talking on the air. We don't even know what he wants. That's the main problem. Okay? Uh, so go and find out. Lah. So Safia Lia has summarized very nicely. Thank you very much on all the seven steps. You guys can look at it in the comments. For those who are uh, in TikTok, I can't copy this, unfortunately. I uh, can't copy this. Okay. So that is up to paragraph number four and up to step number seven. Don't forget, uh, don't go yet, okay? Don't forget, if you share and you like and you follow and you tag your friends during this class, I will email you two important templates, okay? Now, how do we assist students who are stuck, okay, who are actually having problem in terms of their research proposal, research thesis, publication, you know, supervisor comments, examiner comments, and so on. So this is how we normally do things, okay? So not only for students, okay, we don't only look at students, we also look at professors. These are two full professors. We also coach them, especially on publication analysis, all right? And students from China, students from Middle East, and so on and so forth, okay? 
So we look at six key areas when it comes to coaching and consulting. First, we look at publication, content editing, Scopus and Web of Science. Right? Then we look at, for students who start their PhD proposal, all the way to PhD defense. We will coach and consult them. Okay? Then we also um, uh, consult students on converting their thesis to journal very early. Yeah? Not un until you, 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 you collect your data, then you write the journal. No. From the first three chapters itself, we can write two different journals ready and can publish ready. I think within six months to eight months, we have done already publishing. Okay? Then, proposal defense and thesis viva examiner response. That means after you go through proposal defense, you go through viva, you have a lot of comments you don't know how to address, we can coach and consult on that also, master's, PhD and all of it. Okay? And then we also prepare you for defense and viva. Okay, we teach you how to do slides. We go through the mock defense and viva with you. We really scrutinize you until we are happy. Okay, and finally for chapters four, five, and six, we will do data analysis and interpretation. Envivo, Atlas, Smart PLS, SPSS, uh, Amos, Stata, Eviews, MATLAB, Chemical Analysis, Software XRD, and so on, um, um, Python, and so on and so forth. So this is what we do on our consulting and coaching space. Okay. From uh, money's extra model, please share your tips to me. It's issue, but as we said, it is not issue. <laughs> okay, no problem. For those who are on TikTok, I cannot share any link. So this is my number. Okay, you can WhatsApp me directly. We can see how we can help you. Okay, for those on uh, Facebook, if you're having problem, you want to discuss about your issues, how to how you can you know go through our coaching and consulting and also proofreading part. Uh, this is my link to WhatsApp. Okay. So, uh, can include table graph, uh, Shukri, very good question. Can include table graph literature, depends on supervisors. Some people don't like. But there is no harm, there is nothing wrong to include them. But some supervisors don't like. So, better check with the supervisor. Abdi Shakur, how about master student? Do we have to write two to three pages problem statement? You can write. One page should be enough. Okay. Um, Okay, next thing, can I know what types of publication? Systematic review, conceptual review, scoping review, uh, bibliography review, and so on and so forth. Okay? Um, no, it's paid, unfortunately. Okay? Uh, <coughs> all right? So, just now I mentioned about Dr. Sharifa, who passed her thesis without, okay, without correction. Now, and I also mentioned that the examiner specifically said that the publications were very well done. And that is one of the main reasons that the examiner told her, uh, one of the main reasons that she got um, Viva Pass without any correction. And this is how we planned her publication. We start with a systematic review first from chapters 1 to 3, okay, for Scopus. And then number 2, you can start empirical paper or even another review paper. She went on to write empirical paper. Uh, Web of Science, Q2. Then she did another empirical paper, Web of Science, Q2 also. And her final paper, all these papers, uh, some of it we coach, but all of it we proofread and paraphrase. Eh? So this final one is Web of Science Q1 plus one. Very, very, very good journal. So journal publications are very, very important. Right? Ria Ali, explanation of solution factors and independent variables requires also reference from previous researchers. And we have to prove how these factors are really needed to sort out the issue. Yes, that's right. But you only have one to one and a half pages of uh, problem statement, Ria. You cannot do all of that in your problem statement. That's why your literature review comes in. Right? That's what you do in literature review. If you're going to do all of that for individual variable, how are you going to do it? You have not even introduced your framework yet. Once you introduce your framework only, you can start defining why you choose this particular variable. Okay? Think of the idea flow, all right? Okay, I hope that was helpful. So, free notes, uh, not sample thesis, like sample thesis next round. I forgot to edit this. So, these are the two, sorry, these are the two, uh, okay. These are the two problem statement templates I'm going to email you guys, okay? I'm going to email you guys. So, only for those exclusively who tagged their friends, okay, in the chat box, they have, to press, they have to type add button, tag their friends, and for those who shared the session today. If you haven't clicked like or love on TikTok, you haven't shared, I won't be able to email this to you. Okay? All right? So, um, 
with only chapter there's a question on facebook with only chapter one write up in hand can we start work on publishing journal no finish chapter two as well better okay so don't forget to hit like love share make sure you share and tag your friends in the comment column okay don't forget huh? then i'll email you this how can you get all these notes very simple go to my website proofreadingbyphd.com okay you can see this for those who don't have the link you can get this link here let me paste it here you have to copy and paste huh? you can click the link directly okay this is the link to my um, website you can get most of the info here if you scroll down this is our google review okay you can go to our google review here look at how well we are um, established okay and this is our address and so on our location so if you scroll down further these are all our services that we provide you can go through okay thank you rutra no problem senandika thanks for uh, uh, tagging your friend go all the way down this is our 12 steps framework we normally coach and consult based on this framework for all thesis proposal and whatnot okay for all phd and masters area we have over 112 consultants now working with us right so if you scroll down towards the end this is the column where you can request for the templates so here type your full name type your contact number your email address select consultancy and then select others down here just type two problem statement eh, templates okay just do that and then uh, you will be able to uh, i will get your information i will cross match with whoever uh, shared we have algorithm to do that cross check uh, for who shared like love and so on and then i'll email all of you for those who never share it's okay it's totally up to you no problem you can also download it from my telegram group okay both problem statement templates are there you can go and download it from there as well okay don't forget huh? so this is my uh, website link you can also visit to have a look okay so thank you again for those who are you know tagging and sharing and all those people thank you very much okay next upcoming classes okay now you know how to use my template already i've covered that today done settle problem statement next we're going to go into critical literature review with my other template okay with my uh, other critical literature review template so that is going to be on 31st october please go and inform your friends on this upcoming class free class that they can come and join if they want to okay and then 7 november going to be literature review matrix with google scholar and literature review matrix with literature map.ai ai tool lah, 8th november so make sure that you guys go and register yourself on facebook for tiktok i don't think you can create event yet you just have to wait when i go live okay unfortunately right or you can alternatively go to facebook and register yourself as well on my facebook page huh? proofreading by uk phd facebook page okay so with that thank you very much for your time today thanks for joining and thanks for all the folks on, on tiktok thanks for making making it a very good success on tiktok first time ever doing live class on tiktok i've never seen anyone need it before so let's keep that a habit and we continue doing it everyone on facebook thank you very much again for joining we have very good uh, turnout today if you have any questions time to list it down uh summary of seven points i won't be able to type it out and down if you want i'll email the template you can have a look at it okay uh thank you lavinia thank you zubaida thank you very everyone else i think many thank yous are coming in and also thank you manis extra madu very nice name <laughs> okay <laughs> tiktok have all kind of names i love it <laughs> okay so um uh, no problem nurul so please don't forget to my tv will off pula where's my control oh okay okay don't forget to click the follow button huh? you can see me at the top uh left i think or top right click my profile and make sure you go and follow me okay don't forget huh? on tiktok eh? okay so everyone else thank you very much uh see you in the next class which is next week lah. so make sure you spread the words to to your friends ask them to come and join and learn on critical literature review for next week okay thank you very much guys see you uh for those who want telegram link here you go let me give you the link also just one moment eh? um Ah, this link this link will take you there for those on uh, tiktok also here's the link right so um 
TikTok, unfortunately, you have to copy the link and then paste. Then only it'll open. You cannot click and go directly to it. Okay, that's how it it works. Lah. I also don't know why. Okay? So, uh, I don't know why Facebook not going in. But anyway, I'll share it again on Facebook. Okay? So, terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you guys. Bye-bye. Stop sharing. Ah, oh, here.